Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to the Makeup Mummy family. So today we're going to be doing a foundation review. Now the foundation we're going to be talking about is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. This foundation is very new to the market and has been talked about quite a bit recently. And it has a lot of big claims behind it. So if you guys want to see if those claims are as true as they say they are, then keep on watching. Okay guys, we are ready. Here is Ty back. I am rocking my Disney Mickey Mouse jumper, which I picked up in Primark when I was up in Aberdeen a few months back. And I think it was maybe 10, 12 pounds, but I love it. It's so cozy and it's so soft. But anyhow, moving on. <laughs> so this is the foundation we're talking about here. So this is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. Um, as you can see, it is a pump. And it's just a glass bottle and on the front here you've got a little information so your shade name and also just that it is a foundation and on the lid here and we'll put this on the right way on the lid here it's just got your super stay full coverage foundation 24 hour so just a very basic packaging I don't mean that in a bad way it's just nothing out of the ordinary and um, but it's not about the packaging it's about the foundation itself so what I'm going to do is I think today is I've already primed using my Jordana Prime No More and I think I'm going to do half a face with a brush and half a face with a sponge because I typically am a sponge girl when it comes to foundation. I just love using my sponge. I just love how it looks but I have recently been venturing out a little and using a brush so I just want to see the difference the two make on my face. Now something else is I picked this up in the shade 10 Ivory because this was the lightest shade that I can get on the day. They didn't have a tester for this bottle so with the result I couldn't try it out on my face there and then. So I can only hope this goes with my skin tone. I have a feeling it's going to be too dark because generally in a foundation I like porcelain or fair so I think this definitely is going to be too dark but we're just going to have to roll with it because that's what this video is all about. So I think I'm going to pump. I'm only going to go for one and a bit. And I'm just going to use my finger because I want to see how this is going to match in. This is looking too dark, but, but we will see, right? We will see. Let's just roll with it. So let's just it definitely, definitely is going to be, I think, too um, dark for me. Okay, so we're going to go in with the brush first. And we're just going to see how this blends out. I will say it blends out really nice. It definitely is, I think, too dark for me, um, personally. I mean, it's just a little orangey looking on my skin. As you can see, I mean, it really is different. I mean, there's a great big line there where my neck is looking rather white, <laughs> whereas the foundation is looking rather golden <laughs> I'm just going to buff this a little just to see okay guys well what I will say is so far blending that in was really really easy I'm really liking I'm just going to turn my mirror around here because I have a magnifying side so I'm going to get close up yeah, I'm really liking how that's sitting on the skin. I mean, it's really flawless looking. It is definitely a shade too dark for me. Um, But another way of looking at it is I do have, let me see, this right here. So this is like a foundation lightener. So I could definitely, if I felt that it was just too dark, which I do, um, I would just maybe put a, a drop, maybe two drops of this in here so that I can lighten it up a little. It's just a shame that they don't have a lighter shade because I'm loving this foundation. I 
I'm really liking how it looks on the skin. I'm looking how flawless it looks on the skin. It is not settling in to any of my pores. It's not clinging to any area of the skin. It's just given an airbrush effect, which I'm really liking. But I just feel the shade is a bit too dark. But we'll see how it goes throughout the day. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just applying a little, a little, I'm smothering my face in it, so it's not a little, is it? So I'm going to take my sponge this time, um, and I'm just going to start buffing that in and see what the differences are. I just love how easy this is to blend out. Like I said, it's just a shame that I'm looking like an orange right now. <laughs> or I do in the viewfinder anyway, I look quite orange. <laughs> it just blends out so easy. And just looks absolutely flawless on the skin. I'm just going to take my brush over my nose. I feel actually, guys, the brush is much better for getting in and around my nose area. I I didn't think I would ever love like a brush over my little sponge, but I do feel that I do like it better. Which is scary. <laughs> Okay guys, so I think that is that pretty much all blended out. Remembering the ears, go down the neck a little. Okay, so I would definitely say for me, both sides look really, really good. I mean, I think you're getting a really nice finish either using a brush or a sponge. I would say, personally, looking at my skin now, I actually like the brush side just a little bit more. I just feel it's given a little bit more of an airbrush effect, um, whereas the sponge hasn't done that quite as much for this foundation. Um, now, that's not to say... I mean, I love my sponge for foundations. I just love my sponge. But since trying out the brush, I do have to say that I just feel that... I don't know what, just gives a really really nice finish as far as the foundation goes guys I'm really liking this foundation I mean the coverage is very very good I would definitely say medium to full I mean you can definitely build this up if you wanted to and um, the shade is definitely not for me unfortunately it is a little too dark as you could probably tell it's looking a little orange shall we say um but i do love the finish i love the airbrush finish i love the coverage it feels really lightweight on the skin i mean you're not feeling like you're wearing anything um it still gives the skin a natural look although it is near full coverage i wouldn't say compared to my um kat von d it's not as full coverage as that, but it definitely is a good, good coverage. I would definitely say medium to full. Yes, I would. And I would say you could probably build this foundation. And like I said, if this was a little bit lighter, I would be completely in love. Um, but I'm not going to give up hope because I'm going to try out these. So I may do that as a Snapchat video, maybe an Instagram video. So check that out, guys, if you've not got any of my social medias they are on my homepage, but I can just place them in here for you um but yeah check those out because I think I'm definitely going to try this foundation with a little bit of the whitener in there just to see if that helps any but as it stands the shade is just too dark but the foundation is fabby I am loving it I really like the finish of it so guys what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop off and I'm going to do my 
my makeup I'm going to go and do a few things and then I'm going to come back in a couple of hours and just let you see how the foundation is wearing let you see if it is still sitting as flawless as it is um, and then yeah we'll see where we go from there but at the moment as it stands guys I'm really liking the finish I really like how it feels on the skin I really like how easy it blended out no effort at all and I think both sides look really really good whether you're using brush or sponge I would just say for me personally looking at my mirror here I do like the finish of the brush just that a little bit more I just feel it's a little bit more airbrushed than the sponge side but they both look amazing so I'm going to pop off and we shall see you soon. No I won't. Before I go I'll timestamp. Oh my god I'm all over the place today. I'm in a scatterbrain. That's what, we, that's what my grandma would call me, a scatterbrain. So currently at the moment, let me see, we are sitting at 11.13 in the morning. So like I said I'm going to pop off, do my makeup do a few things I've got to do and then we'll come back and let you guys see this foundation. So it's easy. Hey guys, we are back. So it's currently sitting at 27 minutes past two in the afternoon. So we've had this on for over three hours now and I have to say I'm still enjoying wearing it. I mean, the foundation is pretty much sat where I've put it and it still looks very, very flawless and airbrushed i'm really liking the effect of this foundation it is not sitting in any of my pores i mean it's, it's not it's not doing anything weird it maybe emphasizes just a little bit texture just around my nose area but that wouldn't bother me overly much because i mean if you're sitting back here you're not going to be noticing that unless you're in someone's face really looking for it um I really like the foundation. I am really in love with this foundation. I love the finish. I love how flawless it looks. I love the coverage. I mean, we're talking medium to full coverage here and it is a buildable foundation. I would even say it makes the skin still look natural. Although you've got the coverage you do, your skin doesn't look too cakey wearing it. Obviously, as far as the shade goes, guys, I don't know about you, but looking in the viewfinder, I look orange i'm looking like an oompa loompa <laughs> it definitely for me is not the right shade but in saying that when you go out into the natural light just normal daylight the foundation actually doesn't look that bad um it doesn't look as orange as it does here with artificial light so that could be playing a part in what i'm seeing but i'm liking it I'm liking the coverage, I'm liking the feel on my face, it's very lightweight. The consistency wasn't too thick and gloopy either, just a really nice formula. It blended on the skin amazingly well and I haven't had much problem with my nose area. I mean, I've got a little bit, I'm just going to just delve in. Actually, I'm going to just turn the mirror around, that would be easier. I don't have, I've got cracking there. But again, that's my normal positions for cracking a foundation. I mean, every foundation I've had so far does this. Even my more expensive foundations like Kat Von D, Tarte, they do this as well. Um, so that is just a normal thing for me. But it's not settling into my smile lines. It's just doing really, really well, guys. So I think what I would do is definitely try mixing the foundation with some other foundation lightener. Maybe just even a drop, just to see if that, that helps it. If it didn't help, I would just go and try and repurchase a shade lighter. Maybe online they have more selection compared to what they did in store. But overall, guys, I definitely think you should pick this foundation up. It's a really nice foundation. It works really well on the skin. My skin, as I'm getting older, is going a little bit more on the combination side. So I do have quite dry skin, but I do down my t-zone get some oil so it's working really nice for my skin and i'm not seeing any oil appearing around that area so i am thoroughly thoroughly impressed with this foundation i would say out of 10 i would definitely give this a 9 and the only reason i wouldn't give it a 10 is because of the shade but the foundation itself is just beautiful so i would say definitely pick it up but that is that is my review of this foundation, guys. If you've liked the review and you like what you saw here, other than the shade, then give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I'm telling you guys, it would mean a whole heap to me if you could. Um, 
and if you do subscribe hit that little bell and that will notify you every time I upload which is Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays and just before I go just to recap I have the Makeup Revolution Sparkler palette on my eye along with the Makeup no, the MUA Tropical Oceana palette as well and my lips are a mixture of Primark and NYX but I'll list all that down below so you guys can see what was on my face here today um, but yeah I do hope you've enjoyed the video and until the next one guys we'll see you soon bye